right, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first look at the uh, Jacko, I believe that's how you, uh, you say that, the Elite Pro Series. Uh, basically, this is just a pressure gauge, a tire pressure gauge, and I'm really, really kind of stoked on this thing uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and unbox it and kind of get a, a first look here. Um, but yeah, basically, it's, a, it's kind of a, a pressure sensor in here that has a release valve, meaning it'll hold the specific tire pressure number until you use this uh, button to release uh, the pressure. So again, pretty cool feature. It also has multiple ends over here so we can use it. Again, on the back, you can see the interchangeable air chucks here can be used for dually wheels, Presta valves, so on mountain bikes and those kind of things, and then all autos. So uh, again, uh, the pressure gauge shows up in this uh, pretty sturdy little box from Amazon. If you're interested in this product, I'll put a link in the description box below where you can, uh, you can purchase it. Graphics are a uh, little something to be desired, but again, the box is pretty sturdy. You can see all the features there on the back. You can also see that it is made in, uh, in China, so just be aware of that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and just kind of see uh, all that is included. Now this was roughly uh, 20 bucks or so on Amazon. And uh, so not, a, not too bad of a deal for uh, decently what feels to be a good high quality pressure gauge. All right, I'm gonna pull this out and you can see it's got this really nice rubber casing around uh, the actual gauge for protection. So in the event that you drop this thing, it has uh, some good protection, that's great. Uh, what feels to be a really good high quality thick hose Again, you have that, that release valve up there on top, and um, yeah, our, our different valve system. So you can see this is the, uh, the Presta valve that it, uh, it comes with in order to, uh, to get Presta valve gauges. Again, this metal is really solid. It's not like a plasticky uh, kind, of, kind of experience. It has some weight to it. It feels pretty good. Okay, in order to swap valves, uh, basically it looks like you can just come down here and uh, twist off in uh, the counterclockwise uh, motion here, revealing uh, the thread. So there's our right angle. And uh, if you want to put on the, uh, let's see, the Presta valve here for, the, for that gauge uh, setting, you can actually just pop that right on. So that threads on and off very easily, as, uh, as well as our uh, larger dually. Uh, wheel here. So that just slides on really nice and easy as well. Okay, so we're going to be testing out the right angled uh, chuck basically for regular cars and trucks. Fits just on a regular uh, kind of Schrader valve or your normal valve you're going to be finding on uh, cars. So basically, I'm just going to take this, make sure if you have a valve cap that's off, obviously. We're going to pop it on there, get a good reading. You can see. It's uh, showing about 40 PSI. That's about four PSI um, more than what is, um, is normally stated that you should be keeping in these specific tires, but at least we're getting a, a good reading. So uh, now I know I need to release a little bit of that air if I want it at the right cold uh, temperature. So there you go, it appears, uh, appears to be working good. I'm gonna go ahead and clear that via the, uh, the button. Okay, so we're gonna be trying out our Presta valve now on a mountain bike tire that has a uh, Presta valve there. I'm just going to make sure my, uh, my little nozzle on the pressure valve is in the up position or the loose position. We're just going to take this guy and we're going to slide it right down on top. We're going to grab a reading and uh, yeah, you can see it's reading a little bit over 20 PSI there. Uh, so it appears to, uh, to be grabbing a, a pretty good reading and then basically just hit that valve to, uh, to release it. One of the last features I wanted to show you is uh, the glow in the dark uh, feature on the gauge. This is really nice if you're trying to check your tire uh, pressure at night. You can already see uh, in my garage where the lights are low, it's already starting to get that kind of glowy effect. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights and let's see what it looks like. And there you go. You can see it uh, glows fairly well so you can check, uh, check your pressure and get an accurate reading even with really, really low light or no light at all. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, obviously, we've got a little... Uh, uh, Amazon user code here for 10% off all products. I'm just going to leave that there in case anybody is interested in using it. 